Oh, oh my eyes. Oh, what do you? Oh. Hello and welcome to episode three of Neil Bakes with the Bake Off 2021. Yeah. It's bread week and we're going to be doing, obviously, one of Paul's technicals, ciabatta breadsticks. I've got this season's book, um, ordered it uh, a few weeks ago and it came last week. A nice set of recipes that we've got go through most of the technicals in so we'll be able to use this instead of having to look at the website. So the ingredients this week are strong white bread flour, easy bake yeast, olive oil, some green olives, manchego tree, trees, manchego cheese, warm red onion, some semolina for dusting, natural yogurt, cucumber, some coriander, white wine vinegar, a garlic clove, some mint and dill. I also need some salt. Bread's always a good thing to bake and should be quite interesting. So, without further ado, on your marks, good set, bake. So, I've measured out some ingredients. I've got 750 grams of flour in here. It's like half a bowl full of flour. This is ridiculous. This doesn't take forever. Um, I've got a tablespoon of salt. 14 gallons of yeast, 600 ml of lukewarm water, which is about 38 degrees. Tip the flour into the bowl with stand mix, if it with a dough hook. Add the salt to one side, salt in that side, and the yeast the other, because you don't want them to, to mix, because the salt will definitely kill the yeast. Add three quarters of the water and mix on a low speed. As the dough starts coming together, gradually add the remaining water. Mix for five to eight minutes on a medium speed. The dough should be wet and stretch easily when pulled. Add the olive oil and mix for three minutes. Right, so I'll add. Like slopping around. Pretty good. Oh my god, that's stretchy. That's good, looks nice and sticky and shiny. Cheese can go in. Olives can go in. Coriander in. Cover and leave for one to two hours at room temperature until it's doubled in size. Right. It says you need a five litre container. Spray all this with oil. This is my dough. Very loose. Right, we'll leave this at room temperature for one to two hours. 
let it to rise and prune until it's doubled in size. So now we're going to make the tzatziki. 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 There we go. Um, da -da -da. Great. A quarter of a cucumber into a sieve over a bowl and sprinkle over the salt. A quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Um, leave to drain for 10 minutes. Squeeze out any remaining liquid. Spoon the yogurt into a bowl. Add the cucumber, garlic, olive oil, vinegar, and tzatziki seasoning, and hold everything together. Hold it. A teaspoon. Dill. Half a teaspoon of mint. It just tastes like it. just try and taste. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. That's a really nice. There we go. Just cover this, put it on, chill this until we need it. Now we'll, I'll clean up and we'll wait for the dough to rise. This has been in for, oh God. Ugh. I mean, that's been, that's that's a big, big rise. That's been in for like an hour and a half in my oven. Look at that. Oh my God, that's so sticky. Oh my God, this is gonna be story sticking to my finger. Okay, so it says dust the work surface heavily with semolina. This is really very sticky to work with, very sticky. I'm gonna to have to put a lot of semolina on, I think. Carefully tip the dough onto the surface. It'll be very loose and flowing, but don't worry. Handle it gently, just keeping as much air as possible. Just the top of the dough with semolina, then stretch it out gently into a rough rectangle. Starting at one logo, one edge. Cut the dough into about 18 strips. Stretch each piece out to 30 centimetres long. Oh my god. Just kind of push it out into this kind of rectangle. I don't know. I wanted to be working the other way around, but it's fine. I don't know how much, how much you want to be at. We'll eyeball this. I'll we'll just cut it in half, I guess. Oh God, this is such a mess, this one. to get this off. Okay, I've managed to get one off. Ah, especially when it doesn't cut properly. Try and cut it and it just sticks together again. to roll it in semolina just so it can oh, so it can stick some fingers. Okay, managed to do a tray of five. These are, this is the most difficult thing I've worked with. Cut it and then just pull it away from the rest so it doesn't stick to it. And then kind of coat it with semolina. And more semolina. Probably gonna use the whole flipping packet at this rate. And the middle's a bit easier.
Okay, managed to get three trays worth of breadsticks done. Two here. This one here. I think this one I've got my hands the best set. Um, right down there. I'm gonna prove them for about 15 minutes and then they're gonna go in the oven. This was so sticky. I pretty much used half a pack of semolina just to make sure it doesn't stick to the surface or anything else. The dough was that sticky. Okay, so finally ready to bake. The oven's at 225. Um, I've got my three trays here. We'll just stick them in. It's only in for 15 minutes. Well, 15 to 20 minutes until brown then put them on a wire wrap to cool. They've been in about nearly 20 minutes. Let me see if I check the top row. Ooh. Oh my God. It's steamy, isn't it? No, nowhere near done yet. It's still very pale, pale brown. Okay, I've just taken out one set of breadsticks. They look pretty good, nice and brown. They're quite solid. Cheese is melted. They, this smells really nice. My kitchen smells amazing. Just turn it off. There we go. Let's get them on the uh, wire racks and cool. Here we are. 16 Chibrata breadsticks. They've cooled. Let's have a taste. Okay, so. Here they are. I've got out my tzatziki dip as well. It's pretty good. Um, these breadsticks look amazing. Okay, we'll get one of these. Looks pretty good. It's good. Nice structure in there, nice crumb structure, if you can see that. Let's just have a taste of it. Nice and crispy. Let's try it with the cheese. Oh, that crispy cheese is nice. Look at the uh, the crumb in that. Looks pretty good. Nice and airy. Nice and soft. Let's just try it with the, uh, the dip. Oh. Nice. Mmm. It's nice and uh, creamy and uh, tangy with the mint. That dip. Good colour on them. Nice and brown colour. Nice and golden brown underneath. That's good. That's a good breadstick. Chibata breadsticks. Nailed it. I mean. That's a lot of carbs there. I can't eat all of that. I'm gonna have to give quite a few of that, a lot of that away. Yeah, next week, I think it's dessert week. And I think we're doing some sort of treacle sponge pudding, it looked like, in the preview. So, that should be good. Um, for now, I'm gonna finish off my breadstick and then maybe have another breadstick because they're really, really good. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.